Alright guys, welcome to another video on C Sharp and Python programming for anybody that is learning or wants to learn the fundamentals of programming. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through video 4. We already did 3 videos and what I'm going to do is basically walk you through how we can create a meta in C Sharp and also a function in Python. So when, when I show you some of the previous videos, you saw that I was basically doing everything in C-sharp inside of the static method. So this right here is a method on itself. And normally what you see in a lot of the programs is that they always have a, basically a method called main, and then it takes some arguments. So what that means is basically this is gonna be the starting point of the application. And then the starting point of the application is going to be taking couple arguments. So in, in Python you can also do methods but they're actually called functions and there are different methods types and that's what I'm going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a method with no arguments, then we're going to be doing a method with arguments, then we're going to be doing a method that actually is returning a type. So let's go ahead and, and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how do you define a method or why would you need a method. So in the case of the main application, in this case we need a method because we need the starting point, but what if we didn't want to have everything? So imagine if we had thousands of lines on this method and basically it's going to get to a point where it's unmanageable. So whenever you're trying to write a method, you want to make something that, you know, it's it's not too long, but it basically serves a purpose. So by that, let's say, let's give you an example. Let's say that we are going to be building or, or retrieving a player from a database, but then retrieving a player from the database means that we have to return, you know, maybe the the player address, the player email, and maybe we need to do some some changes to the player in the way that the format looks like. So let's say let's say that we wanted to do something like that, like get player. So when you're thinking about method names, make sure that you are as much as you can explicit to what the method is doing. So for instance, let's say that I want to I want to create a method. In this case, I'm gonna create a static method and I'm gonna walk you through what static means, but for now, just know that in C-sharp, we're going to be just doing static methods for now, but in the future, in latest videos, we're gonna be changing that. So right now, we're just gonna do a method that doesn't return anything. So if you're not returning anything in C-sharp, you have to have the keyword void. If we were returning something back to the caller, you would do basically the type here. Let's say we wanted to return the age, or we wanted to return the string, or we wanted to return a double, and so on. So because we're not returning anything, we're just gonna have this thing do something. Then we're just gonna have the word void. And then we can just say, you know, what I'm gonna do here, why don't we do this? Let's just let's just move that to a meta. Let's say that we wanted to display lesson number. And that's what I'm gonna do. And then we can go ahead and move this inside. And that's basically a method. That's a method that is just playing the lesson number. And then if we wanted to call that method, we would know, we would do something like this. And that would not change the way that the application runs. So in fact, if we wanted to do something like, let's go into video four and then do that net run. And let's see if we see exactly the same thing that we were gonna see if we didn't have, and that's exactly what it is. So we have a method that basically is defined as display lesson number. This is the other method is calling it, it's main. And when we call it, basically just execute what's in the body of that method. So what if we wanted to do the same thing here on this on the Python side? So on the Python side is basically defined by the word DEF, which is definition. And then you have to basically tell it, you know, what type of method we're going to be creating. So you also have static methods in, you know, in Python, you can define it as a static method. We can define it just as an abstract method, or we can do a class method. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, let's just do a static method, just like what we did in C sharp. This one is going to be called also display lesson number. And then what I'm going to say is I'm going to pass in no parameters. And then we're going to be basically just calling the body of that. 
So one thing to keep in mind is that in Python, everything is indentation. So it looks like if you're indenting, let's say that I'm doing indentation in here and I have a tab here, uh, make sure that you keep the except the same indentation below. Otherwise, Python is going to complain saying that that is not valid. So what if we wanted to call that? So let's go ahead and call that and we can just say display number and lesson number and then we can just call it that way. So would this work? Let's find out. So if we go ahead and, and we can it's probably, yeah, I think it's going to work. I think it's just the coloring. So if I do video four, and let me just make sure that I am video four. And then we can just say Python video four. And then we're getting an error because the object is not callable. And the reason for that is because I made this a static method. So what if we do something like and let's see if we can do something like this. So we don't have self right now, but we have video four. And we can say display. Let's see if this is going to work. And we can just do up arrow. And then video four is now defined. So how can we call this method, you may ask. And normally you have to have a class defined around. And I don't want to have a class right now because I think I need to cover classes in, in another video. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to say, you know, define and then display number. Let's see if that works. If we do something like that and we get exactly the same thing, which is video four. So I'm going to walk you through creating a class, which is going to allow us to use a, a static method in Python, just like we did in here. But I didn't cover classes in C Sharp or in Python. So that's why I didn't want to do it here. This one was because the system already automatically created that, the template. So for now, let's just keep it, you know, simple like this. And I'm gonna just hit enter a couple of times so that we can align everything. So if I go back here and I do that net run, it's going to it's going to work. And then we got the same thing on both sides. So what if we wanted to pass in the an argument to this method? So we could do something like this. We could say, you know, in C sharp we can say integer, and then we can say the number. And if we want it to be more explicit, we can say less than number. And then we can just use or a string interpolation, and we could also do lesson number, and then remove these right here. So that's going to allow us to basically execute it, and we should get an error because I'm not passing that, and you're gonna see the error that shows. So there's no argument given that correspond to the required parameter, and that's given because right now we're not passing an argument, but this is taking an argument. So what you would want to do is passing an argument. This is an integer. And then if we hit up arrow and hit enter, you're going to see that it's going to work. So what if we wanted to do a new lesson? So let's say that we wanted to do lesson five next time and I can hit up arrow. Now we should see lesson four and lesson five because I'm calling that method twice. So let's go ahead and just keep lesson four. So what if we wanted to do the exact same thing here with, with Python? So in Python, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to say lesson number. We're going to just say, let's just say, let's just say lesson number, I think it's fine. And then in Python, we can do something like this. We can say that and I can separate it just to have spaces. And this is also going to complain because I'm not passing in the number. So what if I say, okay, let's pass in lesson four and I hit up arrow. So we're still getting errors. And the reason for that is because I'm passing in an integer. Remember what I told you that I had that we had to do? We had to convert that to a string. I could have done it that way, or I could have just passed in, you know, four in here with single quotes, and that would have worked. But let's just keep it consistent with what we did in C sharp. And if I hit up, hit up arrow, we're gonna get the same thing. If I do this twice, I'm also going to get four and five, just like I did in C sharp. Okay, so so far so good. So what if we wanted to pass multiple arguments, but Normally, you know, in C sharp, you can do you can do something like this. I could say, you know, in this case, I want to pass in not only the lesson number, but also maybe some of the some of the messaging that goes with it. So, what if we wanted the whole thing to be just a string? So, there's a couple of ways that we can do this. We could do, you know, that basically we could take in a string. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna keep this one that way. That way, we have multiple examples. And then we can just say, you know, a string. And then in this case, I'm just going to pass in a string. And this is going to be lesson. So now you can see that I'm passing in a different type. 
And then instead of passing in that, I'm going to just pass in what I get. And then the way that I could do, I could call this as I can say display lesson as string, and then basically pass in the entire thing. And I could just do, you know, my string interpolation. But what if I wanted to define a variable called lesson number? So I would say lesson number four, and then I would pass in the variable here, which is going to be four, and then just lesson number. And then if we go ahead and just execute that, we're going to see that we're also getting lesson four and lesson four twice. The reason why we're getting it twice is because we're calling it here with the first method, and then we're calling it again with the other method that take, takes in a string. So let's do the same thing in here. We're going to just declare another another method, and then in this case, I'm just going to say a string, and then we're just going to say lesson. But in this case, I'm just going to pass in, you know, lesson. And then I'm just going to call that, if we go here, and then just like I did right on C Sharp, I'm just going to say, but remember, it's not a type. So I need to just declare a variable, which is going to be my lesson number. I'm trying not to make mistakes with the casing, because they're different between C Sharp and Python. And I know that I'm making some mistakes, so we're going we're gonna to learn together, because I, I don't remember exactly how Python standards are but if you if you need to correct me correct me because you know I, I haven't done this in a while and then what I'll do here is I'll just pass in this all right so what if we try this in Python and see what happens so everything is working so let's say that we wanted to increment these to lesson 5 so let's go ahead and increment it to lesson 5 here and just so to show you that everything is working lesson 5 and if we do it in C sharp, we're gonna get lesson five, lesson five. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and oops, let me go ahead and redo that. And then I'll just leave this on four. I think four is fine. And then four, four is fine here. So what if we wanted to return a value now from from a from a method? So let's go ahead and do something something else. So instead of in instead of the first one calling, you know, doing console at right line. What I'm going to be returning is just returning that value. So I'm going to be returning. I'm going to be taking in an integer. So let's go ahead and take in an integer. But in this case, I'm going to change. Let's go ahead and call it display lesson number. And then we can just call it format it. And then because we're going to be returning a value, I want to return a string. And then in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return this whole thing. And I'm just going to say, you know, return video lesson number and then lesson. So now you can see that it's, it, they're different names, so it's not complaining. And if I go ahead and call this new one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, instead of just calling it directly, I'm just going to say console, console right line. And then I'm going to call in my new method and I'm going to pass in the lesson number variable. Perfect. Now, if we call the .NET run to compile and execute it, you can see that I'm getting, you know, video four once, video four twice. So what I'm going to do here, because this is getting a little bit out of control, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and, you know, actually format it so that we can we know what we're calling. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put in a little bit of formatting, and instead of doing it that way, let's go ahead and just do this. And then in here, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and do my string interpolation. And then I'll just take in lesson. And then in this one, it's going to be a different method name. So what I'm doing, I'm basically prefixing with the method that is calling it. That way we know which one is getting the results. So I'm just going to hit that net run. And we're getting an error somewhere here. And that's because I'm missing a double quotes. All right, let me just make this one a little bigger so we know what's going on. I'm going to clear the screen, hit the net run, and then you should see that we're getting display lesson number with the first example, second example, and third example. So everything is working. This one is returning a string. I'm returning a string here and then displaying it with the right line. So the other thing that I could have done here is I could have also, instead of doing this directly, because this is returning a string, I could have done something like this. A string and then this is going to be my my actual lesson number formatted 
and then I could have just taken the value of this meta, store it in this variable, and then just print it out. And then that's go not going to change the results because we're just doing exactly the same thing. We're just using a variable to store it. Okay, let's go ahead and do all that in also in Python. How can we do what we just did? So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to format it just like what we did. And then I'm just going to say, okay, this one is this one. And then this one is going to be the next the next example just so that we can align it and we know exactly what's happening awesome and then the last one that i did was going to be the one that is returning a string so let's go ahead and do that we're going to be returning a string but in this case i'm going to say just format it display so we can say display lesson number and then we can just append the word format it and then in this case, I'm also going to be taking a string, but it's going to be, sorry, an integer, but it's going to be an integer type. So I'm just going to call it number. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say return. And then I'm going to pass in basically what we did here, just so that we can keep it consistent. And then I'm going to basically format it with the name of this function. So now what I can do, I can do what I just did on C sharp. So let me go ahead and resize this so you can see everything. So what we did in C Sharp was we call this, but we also use uh, basically a variable. The variable that we used was lesson number formatted. And then I'm just gonna say that value, which is going to, and it's not gonna be that one. Let me go ahead and undo. This is gonna be a new line. And this is gonna, go, it's gonna be lesson number formatted equal. And then it's gonna be the new function that we're calling. We're gonna be passing in the new variable so which is going to be that variable and then we're going to be using the new variable to print it out and i'm going to say print and then we're going to take that and then just print it out let me just resize this a little bit and then what i'm going to do is just let's just hide this piece so we can see the entire both of the both of the examples on both on both codes in both programming languages running so this one is running and then this one is running as well and then everything looks the same because it's almost the same implementation in both programming languages. So I hope you enjoy that, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that really helps me in bringing you a lot more content. Thank you, guys.